little crazy when they see a total solar eclipse. And that was true in 1979 when it was such a huge event. It was broadcast live on ABC. Frank, this is absolutely oh, okay. amazing. There, it is. there you can see it. Uh, the roar of the crowd has just gone up. This is just the most exciting thing I think I've ever uh, participated in. According to observatory manager Claude Hayes, this soon-to-be sky show will be something to behold. So we have a perfect alignment of the moon against the surface of the sun at the same diameter. And that's what creates the total solar eclipse. And that lets you see that beautiful corona around it. It's really a, a neat effect and it's a neat thing to see. And August 21st, we'll have the chance to see one go from coast to coast. So here's what to expect. So it starts in uh, Oregon and tracks all the way across the country to South Carolina. You can be outside of the solar eclipse path to see part of the eclipse, but for you to see the moon totally cover the surface of the sun, you need to be within that eclipse path. It may only last a few minutes, but a lot will happen in that short amount of time. It'll get a lot cooler because you don't have the sun beating down on you. It's been blocked by the moon. It will get dark, like twilight, not totally dark, but you will be able to look into the sky and see really bright stars in the sky that are blocked out by the, normally by the sun's light. You'll also notice wind, so that there's oftentimes a wind current that comes with that cooling uh, when the sun disappears. But if you want to experience the solar eclipse in all its glory, you need to be prepared. Well, you have to use some special equipment. The first one is a set of solar glasses which may look like you're watching a 1950s 3D movie, but it blocks out 99.9% .9 of the sun. These are not normal sunglasses, so there's some myths about using old photographic film, or you can use uh, CDs that will block the light, but those can harm your eye. You can order inexpensive certified eyewear online, or take part in festivities at local observatories, or even better, hit the road. It's a rare kind of event, and if you have the ability to travel to the center line, I certainly would recommend it, but you need to hurry because a lot of reservations have been taken and you may have trouble finding a, a place to stay. Even if you have to stay home, you can still celebrate by throwing your own party. Send out invites using the new heat-activated US postage stamps, make some drinks to the moon, the sun, and the stars. Customize your solar eclipse glasses. Let's just say I'm going to be the envy of all my friends. I'm not going to be able to see them, but I will be the envy of them. And pass the time playing a little game of pin the moon on the sun with your blinged out specs. I mean, I don't want to wait for the eclipse. I want to create my own eclipse. <gasps> Let's go. OK, so maybe got another 30 minutes before that covers the sun completely. No matter how you are going to partake, have fun and be safe. Here goes. Let the countdown begin. Three, two, one. Blast off to the event that eclipses all others on the top of the list.